What's up, guys? It's Rob here, and we need to talk about Sundial stock, ticker symbol SNDL, because this stock is falling, and people are confused why it's been falling for so long, right? This thing has just been going down and down for the past many, many months, despite great catalysts coming out for it, despite having a very strong balance sheet and a ton of other positive events that have occurred around Sundial stock and legalization. We're going to talk about some of those later in the video, so make sure to stay tuned for the end when we get to the news that's going on with Sundial stock. But we're going to talk about why it's been falling first, right? If you look at the yearly chart, you can see that we actually have been falling for a very long time, right? Pretty much since the beginning of February, we've been sinking and sinking, and we made all-time lows for the year just three days ago at 40 cents per share. Now we have rebounded off that level. We're at 44 cents per share today, right? We actually made it all the way to 50 before we sank back down a little bit. So we have been on the decline and people are curious as to why is Sundial stock falling when all of this good news keeps coming out for it. Now, the thing is, it's not just Sundial stock that's falling, right? It's actually pretty much all the small market cap stocks. You'd be hard pressed to find a small market cap stock that's actually up over the past year. So more than one third of NASDAQ stocks have slumped 50% or more from their all time highs. And this came out on January 14th, not even at the pit of the crash, right? A lot of stocks in the S&P continued falling uh, after January 14th. And I'm sure that by the bottom of this, of this crash that we saw in the S&P, that more than 50% of stocks had slumped from their 50 uh, two-week highs, right? A ton of stocks were probably down. And this uh, this chart of the S&P doesn't even uh, explain really what's been going on with small market caps, right? Because this thing, we all know, has been dragged up and basically just led higher and higher by large market cap stocks. If you actually look at the Russells over the past two years, you can see a much better story, right? Obviously, we saw a massive rise from the pit of the pandemic when Powell started printing a bunch of money. We continued rising up and up. The small market cap stocks were doing incredibly well. And then around February, when Sundial actually peaked, we had a divergence and small market cap stocks started tanking, right? They started performing horribly. And the mid market cap stocks did decently, right? So that's why the Russells was basically stagnant most of the year until November. And from November, we've actually moved down about 20%. If you take a look at this, from the highs that we saw in November in the Russells, we've moved down about 20%. And if you were curious as to what defines a bear market, it is a 20% 20 for, uh, 20 drop, right? When security prices fall 20% or more from recent highs, you are officially in a bear market. So all in all, despite the fact that the S&P might be covering it up, Sundial and a lot of these other other stocks in uh, in these indexes are in bear markets, right? They've been falling for months, for a very long time. And I'm about to explain why, but first I did want to show you guys the channel analytics. We currently have 10,000 subscribers in this Sundial community right here. So feel free to subscribe down below if you wish to join the Sundial family. And also feel free to get up to $6,300 of free stocks by clicking the link in the description or pinned comment. You get three free stocks from Webull, which can be valued up to $6,300. So that's definitely a good deal. Make sure to check it out. Now, this is actually the reason why Sundial has been falling for the past many months, right? This guy right here. And you're looking at Jerome Powell with these money printers, and you're wondering, well, why would that cause Sundial and all these small market cap stocks to fall over the past, uh, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 months, right? You typically think if you're printing a ton of money, then stocks should be going up. And that is exactly what happened initially, right? We did see the Russells perform incredibly well when Powell started printing. However, uh, Powell printed a little bit too much and people started to have some real fears about inflation and for good reason, right? During the beginning of the year, during January, February, March, April, we started to see inflation really ramp up in a big way. This is a chart of inflation. And if you zoom out to the 25 year chart, you actually see that inflation has gotten to the highest point it's been in the past 25 years. So scary stuff, uh, all because Powell decided to roll these printers out and just turn them on perpetually, right? They're still going, right? We're still printing money. But uh, inflation has become a real problem in a lot of investors' minds, and that's caused a lot of people to flock to some of the larger market cap stocks, right? They, they want to be in the Apples, the Microsofts, and the Googles, and they don't want to take a chance on a stock like Sundial, which actually doesn't make too much sense, right? Because people are worried that what's going to happen to these small market cap stocks that are typically in debt 
is that they're going to have to start paying higher interest rates as Powell has started becoming a little bit more hawkish. They're worried that Powell is going to start raising interest rates. And what he might do, you know, maybe over the next year or two, we see interest rates, uh, we see a couple rate hikes. Maybe we see interest rates go up 1% or 2%. Uh, but that actually wouldn't be too horrible for Sundial, right? Sundial has cash on the balance sheet. Sundial is an outlier among these small market cap stocks because they have an amazing balance sheet. They were able to raise a ton of capital when their stock price pumped up. And they've got a ton of cash on hand as well as a ton of investments. So an interest rate hike, while it might not be uh, the best for some of their investments, would actually be very beneficial regarding the amount of cash that they've got on hand. So all in all, you know, people are not looking at this uh, from a logical perspective, right? They're looking at it like, this stock's a small market cap. I've got to sell it. I've got to dump it. It's trash, right? And that's exactly what's been going on with Sundial. That's why we just made um, all-time yearly lows at 40 cents per share uh, of Sundial. So, you know, Jerome is, is doing what he has to do to manage the inflation situation, but it is taking its toll on a lot of these smaller market cap stocks, Sundial included. And once again, it's not just Sundial. It's uh, more than one third of NASDAQ stocks that have some 50% or more, probably more than 50% at this point, right? Because the stock market has not been kind to anything over the past week or two. And this article was published about a week or two ago. So uh, I'm sure a lot more stocks have been down since then. Now, as for the good news regarding Sundial, we actually have a couple of really key things. I don't know if you guys caught uh, my short video about this, but Amazon has announced on their public policy Twitter account that they are pleased to endorse Representative Nancy Mace's States Reforms Act. So uh, basically, this is a cannabis legalization bill that we've been talking about for a long time. It's a really important bill because it's been introduced by a Republican. Representative Nancy Mace is a Republican from South Carolina. And I'll finish off with Amazon says, they said, like so many in this country, we believe it's time to reform the nation's cannabis policy. And Amazon is committed to helping lead the effort. Now, this is really good stuff because typically... The markets uh, move, you know, the cannabis markets move up massively when there's real chance of legalization, right? So whenever we have legalization hype, the markets for cannabis stocks tend to move up dramatically. Now, when do you actually see uh, laws getting passed, right? Is it when the people want something to get passed or is it when the politicians have incentives to pass stuff? Uh, it's typically when the politicians have incentives to pass laws, right? And Amazon, being one of the largest companies in the world, can probably offer those politicians some pretty good incentives. And I'm not, you know, accusing anyone of anything, obviously. Uh, you know, this is just my opinion. But it seems to be the case that whenever big businesses want something to happen, it tends to happen pretty darn quickly, right? The politicians seem to fall in line and uh, just, just fall like dominoes doing whatever it is these big businesses want them to do. And the fact that Amazon, one of the world's largest companies, is now publicly endorsing cannabis and is committed to leading the cannabis legalization effort that sounds incredible, right? The fact that we've got all of these things lining up, that we have Amazon working for cannabis legalization, along with Republicans, right? The fact that Republicans are on board and that Amazon is supporting Republicans leading cannabis legalization, and the fact that Democrats have wanted cannabis legalization, at least, uh, you know, Democratic voters have wanted it for a long time, uh, is really, really good stuff. And the great part about this bill is that it actually leaves cannabis legalization uh, up to the states, right? It lets the states decide on a state-by-state -state basis if they want it legal or whatever. And we've been getting a ton of good news. If you guys have been watching the past Sundial videos, there are so many states that are talking about cannabis legalization that are putting bills forward this year. Mississippi is just one of them, right? This just happened two days ago. Mississippi lawmakers reach a deal to send a medical marijuana bill to the governor this week. So a ton of states are not just doing medical marijuana, but they're also doing recreational cannabis. Mississippi is just the latest example, the latest domino falling in line of overall cannabis legalization in the United States, which would be incredible for not just Sundial, but all the cannabis-related stocks, right? Tilray, Organigram, Canopy Growth, you name it. If it's involved in cannabis, they all tend to see massive rallies when there's real cannabis legalization hype. So all in all, things are looking pretty darn good for Sundial in the future, despite the fact that currently we're in a pretty tough economic time, the fact that the markets are down on these inflation fears, which all in all should not really decimate Sundial. But that's just my opinion. Obviously, none of this is financial advice. Feel free to subscribe to the channel down below once again and use that Weeble referral link in the pinned comment. If you guys don't have a Weeble, uh, you can get up to 6300 bucks uh, getting an account there and funding it. So other than that, guys, have a great day. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.